on the basis of evidence collected and examined and analysed by my office, I have reasonable grounds to believe that three senior leaders of Hamas, Yahya Sinwa, Muhammad Daif and Ishmael Haniya, bear criminal responsibility for the following international crimes committed on the territory of Israel and the State of Palestine from at least the 7th of October 2023. Extermination as a crime against humanity. Murder as a crime against humanity and as a war crime. The taking of hostages as a war crime. Rape and other acts of sexual violence during captivity as crimes against humanity and as war crimes. Torture during captivity as a crime against humanity and as a war crime. Other inhumane acts during captivity as a crime against humanity. Cruel treatment during captivity as a war crime. And outrages upon personal dignity during captivity as a war crime. These crimes were committed in the context of the ongoing armed conflict detailed in the applications and as part of a widespread and systematic attack against the civilian population of Israel by Hamas and other armed groups. I can also confirm today that I have reasonable grounds to believe on the basis of evidence collected and examined by my office that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Minister of Defense Yoav Gallant bear criminal responsibility for the following international crimes committed on the territory of the State of Palestine from at least the 8th of October 2023. That starvation has caused and continues to cause deaths, malnutrition, dehydration and profound suffering among the population. Famine is already present in some areas of Gaza and it is imminent in others. My office charges Netanyahu and Gallant as co-perpetrators and as superiors in the commission of these alleged crimes.